Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is the last video of 2017 and because it is the last video of 2017, I just want to answer the most popular question on my channel. So whenever people reach out to me and say, well, I'm doubting what I'm doing, I say congratulations, you're a human being and that's what it takes to be a human, right? So you doubt what you do, you have this voice in your head and that's totally fine. So let's face the fears. A fear number one is the fear of graphic design in general. Uh, like in the World Wide Web. That's kind of a huge fear in itself. And then there is a the fear of reaching success, fear that you cannot do it, you are not going to reach success. And it is important to know that in this industry it's not going to happen to you instantly. So that can be a huge fear as well. And then there is a the fear of not growing, like what if I get no money, what if I get no clients, what other people will say about me? So you have to understand, that's just a scary thought. And before you stop watching this video, because I know that some of you may think, well, there goes my graphic design dream. Well, just wait. So if you have to ask somebody how to quit everything and start doing what you really love to do, it should be me, okay? Because you guys all know that I used to be a translator and then I decided that I should do graphic design. I also helped one of my friends to quit her job and start doing what she really loves to do and she is a graphic designer right now, she is a very talented artist and she's very happy. So right now I'm gonna tell you everything that I told her that day when she had these fears and doubts in her head. When you're starting out, the most important thing you have to do is to ask yourself, what is the purpose of what I'm trying to do in my life? It took me a while to discover that and to answer that question. And to this day, the best decision I've ever made in my life was just to follow my dreams. And the thing is that today, there are so many people, there is like a huge movement of designers, of creators, of artists. And when I started out, I was scared that there is no place for me to do this. And then I realized, of course, there is a place for me to do this. And there is a place for you to do this because every second, the world is changing. Every second, new online businesses are being made and there is increase of startups and that means that there is even much more demand for design work, for designers, for creators. I have learned that fear of success is actually the fear of failing. Just think about that. If I ask you right now, uh, would you want to win the money easily? Would you want to win the lottery? Uh, nobody's afraid of that. Nobody's afraid to succeed. But what we are afraid of, what we are really afraid of, we're afraid of failing in attempt to become successful. We're afraid of failing in attempt to become a graphic designer. And I believe that comes from destructive criticism in our childhood. And we got this destructive criticism from our parents, our teachers, our friends and that builds up this fear of I cannot do it, I'm not good enough to do it. And the way that you can transform this fear of failing in attempt to become a graphic designer or any fear that's holding you back actually, is you can transform this fear, you can change it with the opposite words. And the opposite magic words in every language are the words I can do it. I can do it, I can do anything, I can do anything that I put my mind to. And I was lucky to have the parents, specifically my father, who raised me and my brother by repeating these words over and over again for 20 years. Like, you can do it, you can do it, you can do anything, you can do anything that you put your mind to. And I really believe that these magic words 
in time will wash away any fear that's holding you back. And of course you can do it, of course you can become a graphic designer because if I could do it, you can do it as well. I didn't go to art school, I didn't go to graphic design school and I learned it all by myself, so you can do it as well. For many people, the biggest fear is the fear of what other people will say about me, right? So I have news for you. Nobody cares enough about you because they are too busy being worried about what they think you're thinking of them. Okay, just think about that. And as for money, I would just recommend you not to quit your day job, at least in the beginning. And of course, in the beginning, you won't be dedicating 40 hours a week to learning graphic design, but you really have to discipline yourself. Just set aside a certain amount of time every week that you will dedicate to graphic design. If you are truly motivated, if you are truly passionate about it, just feed this learning phase with your time and your energy. And just start doing it right now. Because sometimes we talk so much that we never make things happen. And you don't want to be that person that says, well, I wanted to become a graphic designer a few years ago. And if I did, I would be very successful. You don't want to be that person. So just start doing it right now. Start learning. And of course, it won't be perfect in the beginning, uh, but as you go, as you grow, as you fail, there is so much learning in it. I'm really excited to be reconnecting with you next year and to hear about your progress. So thanks for watching, have a nice day, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye, see you later.